Many of us can play the piano in a mechanically competent kind of way, but it takes a truly special talent for it to sound as if the soul is guiding the fingers. I met someone recently who achieves precisely that, and it happened on a magical day in Cape Town. With a magnificent view across Falls Bay, the Casa Labia dates back to 1929, when it was built as a home for Prince Natale Labia, the then Italian envoy extraordinaire and minister plenipotentiary to South Africa. Today, it's a popular venue for fine dining, receptions and cultural events. And the family's art collection and original furnishings create the perfect backdrop for an impromptu recital by a classical crossover pianist. An exquisite location and a beautiful woman playing the piano. It's like a scene out of a movie. I almost have to pinch myself to make sure it's real and that I am actually going to meet Malika Omar. Born in South Africa, Malika has spent a number of years living and performing in the United Arab Emirates, where her audience has included the ruler of Dubai, His Royal Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, an IT billionaire and philanthropist, Bill Gates. It is so good to finally meet you. It's so good to finally meet you. I mean, just listening to you play, your repertoire doesn't seem to fit into a pigeonhole. How do you describe your style? Well, as a person, I'm generally uh, quite a free spirit. So even though I'm classically trained, there are rules in classical music that are implemented. I like injecting myself into my music. Where and when did your love of music begin? Well, it started when I was a toddler. I spent a lot of time, obviously, with my parents. We went on lots of road trips, and music featured predominantly in my home, so we would always have music playing in the, in the house, especially over weekends. Dad used to listen to a lot of Kawali and Elton John and classical music and Afrikaans music. So I was really um, exposed to a lot of music um, as a child. And then when he started uh, playing a lot of Richard Clayderman albums, that's when my love for piano began. Malika began playing the piano when she was nine and after matriculating, went on to complete her musical studies in Johannesburg. She then built up experience as a live performer and composer while also teaching other aspiring pianists. I've always wanted to learn how to play the piano, but do you have the patience to teach me a little something? Of course, something? I'm a really good teacher and I'm going to teach you one of my new pieces that I composed recently. It's called Birdsong. Awesome. <laughs> Do you really have the patience? Okay, how does it go? Okay, so just follow uh, exactly what my okay. fingers are doing. Okay. Right? Yeah, you're gonna do that three times. Okay. Then, this. Do you wanna try and do it without my Okay, help? okay. okay. to hear one of my original pieces being played by someone else. Yeah. How did you feel about your family moving to Dubai? Well, it was an exciting opportunity for all of us, I think, to experience something new and different and to experience it together. And what was your experience of Dubai? It's a nice marriage of kind of the past and the future. Besides that, it's very special to me because my music has been received there very warmly by everyone, you know, the locals, the expats. So I'm really grateful for that. How has the mix of Dubai and South Africa influenced your sound? Both South Africa and Dubai are cultural melting pots. So where that sort of influence started when I was here, it just expanded more when I was there because there are people there from different countries. So in my second album, Sandstar, which was all original compositions and produced in Dubai as well, uh, you'll hear influences from you know, South America and the Far East and India and even Turkey. During her time in the UAE, Malika earned five nominations for various musical awards and featured in a documentary titled Desert Fusion, which has been screened at film festivals in London, Berlin, Auckland, Miami and Hawaii. What brought you home? I love teaching and I've got a passion for teaching. I just felt like it was best for me to come home and start this music school, you know, where I would kind of get someone to come in who is perhaps very shy at the piano and then for them to leave confident and not just 
take that confidence or experience that confidence and sense that kind of, you know, that I can do it attitude in the piano music or in the music room, but also to impart that in their lives as well. Malika also performed at the Dubai Fashion Week. An exposure to the world of style led her to being approached by designers and various international fashion and beauty brands to wear their creations. Would you say that the local fashion scene makes the most of collaborating with musicians and artists? Definitely. I'm just like hearing more artists on the radio and seeing them in magazines and everyone's just expressing themselves, you know. It's all about looking individual and unique and, and as South Africans we are all very different and we are unique. What kind of influence do you think musicians and artists have on the youth? I'm somewhat concerned about how some of the youth are being driven a little bit more by image than by anything else, whether it's um, education, um, values and so on, which is far more important and than how many likes you get. You are a girl after my own heart. Let's get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> no one would blame Malika for concentrating on her career and achieving material success, but she has an empathetic heart. She's been involved in a project for the UN Refugee Agency and made her first recording as a singer on a charity single released in support of the Palestine Children's Relief Fund. What advice do you have for anyone who wants to follow a similar path to you? Well, I think in any field or just in any aspect of one's life, you know, where one has a specific goal, I think it's important to identify why you have that goal and why you want to reach it. And just believe in yourself and don't take yourself so seriously. Malika, thank you so much for such a lovely afternoon. Thank you so much for the wonderful company and hope that you'll continue with your piano lessons. I don't think that's a good <laughs>